Test number one. The Wraith Old Motor Up. What is actually our makeshift Hot Wheels track? I can do a I can do a video on the Hot Wheels track at some point too if we want to. Makeshift Hot Wheels track. I'm not really too sure what the angle of this is, but uh, it's slick because it's painted. So let's see how far up does the Wraith get? What are its issues? To roughly here we're gonna mark it mark it with a piece of tape All right, slow crawl how far does it get notice notice the easy control with this motor in there look at how slow it can go It gets about a tire length before that mark. Alright, and then if I go fast, full speed. Oh! <laughs> it got just a little bit up above it. Alright, number two, this ramp. Obviously, this should go straight up it. With absolutely no issues whatsoever. Alright? Easy, easy. So two is easy. Test number three is going to be random piece of wood. Bring the truck straight up to it, and then from right there, can it? Does it have the torque to pull up? All right. So the first test here. This is this is sitting at about 20 degrees, something like that, and obviously 2S motor. Straight up is not a problem. Let's angle it up a little bit more. Now we're sitting. Oh, stop wiggling. Maybe closer to 15 degrees. Still no problem. Dang, I've never done this before. How, how steep will this thing go? What are we at now? 10. 10 degrees. So traction is obviously more of an issue now than anything, but it can literally come straight up and push up. Wow, that's at 10 degrees. This is almost flat. Right, let's see how much flatter we can get it. Five? Five degrees? That wasn't really a torque test because I was just spinning the tires. Let's see. Yeah, obviously just traction is a problem. More than that. And it goes up it. It goes up it at that angle. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to get any flatter than that, especially with traction. All right, next test, just a rough speed. I don't have my GPS. Turns out I think, I think we might have actually broken my GPS with as many times as we've crashed. So we're gonna have to just do this, uh, and I, I do not dare to put my phone on it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna judge the speed from video. Sorry, guys. This is 2s only. That is literally full throttle 2s. This is part of the problem why we're gonna swap a different motor into it. It's because it needs to be faster than that. I don't even know if it'll make it up here. Period. Just to start. I'm gonna have to do this across the top. Look at that easy, slow crawling. Can it get enough traction? There's basically no way. Alright. Super easy to control with this motor in it. Slow turn. It has no issue pulling up out of things. It's just getting stuck in more. No issue with power, no 
Bruce with his whole ability. I just need to start cutting my wood wire. There we go. New feature in my backyard, the brick pile. problem right up and over it. That's my neighbor's dog. It's always doing that. Uh, always. Alright, we're going to do this two ways across these railroad ties. One is just uh, slow crawl, the other is fast, rock bouncer style, and see what it looks like both ways. Uh, this is a tip for those of you. So this is uh, I'm trying to fit a 550 motor into a Wraith. Um, if you notice, the old motor coming out was a 540 size. I'm putting a 550 in, which means what it is is a little bit longer. Now, in order to get it to fit in perfectly, what's going to happen is something to point with. I'm going to need to trim the just very edge off of this right here. It's not a lot, really. Just a very small amount to grind down. Either that or, so if I set this in here where it's supposed to be, I mean it basically sits there. But it rubs it, it touches it, and the motor's not sitting flush. It's actually sitting up on top of it. So I still need to pull this back out. I'm going to take, I don't know if I'm going to use a Dremel, I'm going to take something and just grind down that little edge right there. Just exactly where the uh, it got exactly where the stock or the 54 turn motor did <laughs> well that worked a lot better all right 12 turns slowly going up the ramp it still has the ability to go super slow not as smooth maybe you think about that right there not as smooth but hey it does it Left off 
five degree angle, does it have the torque to pull up against it? Yep. <laughs> yes, it does. So yes, even with the 12 turn, still plenty of torque to just pull up against something like that. And go straight up. Now obviously this is gonna be one of the big differences, speed. That's a lot better. So where does this leave us? I mean, we put, we went from a 54 turn motor to a 12 turn motor and it's fine. Like, I guess for everything that I do, maybe if you're, it's fine for what I do. Like, uh, maybe if you're going to be doing some technical crawling or something like that, maybe then it matters because you really need that super slow speed controllability. But for the uh, silliness that I do, just the having fun and certainly if we're talking about going and doing this whole rock bouncer thing that extra speed is great and that was just on 2s imagine what this thing's gonna be on 3s like it's it's gonna move but uh hey so far put the 12 turn motor in it does it does it basically crawl the same yeah does it is it a lot faster yeah so so far, best of both worlds. Um, yes, censored, brushless, waterproof, hobby wing axe setup, castle slate setup. Would those be better? Yeah, they'd be better. Are they also more money than I've spent for the whole total truck so far? Yeah, that too. So, um, anyway, we're going to play with it. Hopefully you see this soon, and we will be going to a Rock Bouncer event if everything works out, and giving it a shot, and seeing just how badly we're going to lose. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.